What is going on? Look, I still have hair and I still have eyes. I understand I don't look like a million bucks just yet, but I don't know, I look like a two game parlay. Not too bad, not great, but good enough to get you some bets here on a Friday. I hope you guys all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Hope you gained some weight. Hope you got a little gut right now like I do. It's Black Friday, one of the biggest scam holidays you'll ever see out there. Oh, it's Black Friday, where we're gonna give you all the things that couldn't sell and pretend like you're somehow winning out. You're gonna show up at a Walmart wait all night and get a ticket so that the gates come down and now it's every man for themselves like the royal rumble and that's what black friday is i never give you guys fake deals here i give you guys real deals we still got that world cup promotion going on it's probably one of the best ones we've had which is you bet ten dollars on any team to win by the money line in the world cup if a goal is scored by anyone in the world cup BetMGM will credit you with $200 in free bet credits to use on anything you like, including any of these NHL games that we have on this Black Friday. I'm looking at some of these early games, and you know what these games are to me? Revenge for playoff exits. And I'm not just taking them for that reason. I'm not like one of these people you see, well, let me let me come up with a theme and then just go with it. No, I do think that these are relatively nice selections for this particular Friday. You had Boston and Carolina who got in a grueling playoff series and Boston kind of played well enough to win the series. Carolina played well enough to win the series. That was the series where the home team won every single game, including game seven. And although I'm not going to say I'm looking for that to continue, I am going to take the home team. I'll take the Boston Bruins to beat the Carolina, exact a little revenge here on this Friday. And then I like that whole top line. I like DeBrusque, Bergeron, and Brad Marchand at various prices. You know, they're all also on the top power play unit. When they were at home, I know the season's fake and it definitely doesn't count to the same degree as the playoffs. But I like taking them at home where they can get the matchups they want and not deal with the stall line, even though they sh shuffled Pasternak on a different line. So I like that. And if you really are looking for some plus money, take the Bruins puck line with the over six and a half combo that you can find in the game parlay section. I'm not, I don't think Boston's too happy about getting eliminated from the playoffs the way they did. So I'm going to take Boston in that one. And then another early game, another playoff rematch, two teams who already played earlier in the season. Colorado waxed the Predators in the playoffs, and then they waxed them once again in Colorado. If there's going to be a game where the like these Predators, they must be so pissed off about the ease at which Colorado just wipes the floor with them. And Colorado hasn't been a sure thing so far this year. Ever since they went to Europe and came back, things were going smoothly, but now, I don't know, they had a half stumble. Not a true stumble, but they had a half stumble. But I weirdly am gonna take the Predators with this one, and if you want a game, parlay at the Predators with the over. Next up, another kinda early game, and really early if you think about it locally, you have Ottawa playing Anaheim. Anaheim getting their first win in regulation the other night. Now they're facing Ottawa. You know my normal rule about two bad teams. All right, two really bad teams, especially defensively, go ahead and take the over. Plus Anaheim, they beat the Rangers the other night, got their first regulation win. I'll give you two options. You take your favorite. Anaheim to win or plus one and a half to afford you the luxury if things don't go their way or it goes to overtime or something like that. But I actually do like the Ducks in this one, weirdly enough. And then later on, those Devils, the Devils who I was told that the Toronto Maple Leafs could not beat the other night because they were missing a couple of defensemen. And it got hairy, but those Maple Leafs held on and won. And you, you gotta figure, Jersey wants to get back on the right side of things, but there's a weird thing going on on the other side. You have Buffalo hitting this offensive strike. Seven goals on the road, crushed Montreal, then came home. Was it another six goals? This is gonna be a weird one. I want same game parlay, both teams over two and a half. Both teams over two and a half each, which means they're both gonna score three goals, which obviously means it's gonna go over. So if you like, if you like a bet, you can go over, but I'm weirdly gonna go both teams over two and a half goals with the Sabres plus one and a half. 
You know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? That's called a sniff. That's called a sniff. Anyway, on to the next one. But before I get to this team, I guess I'm just going to give myself a half pat on the back for opening up the last video. I mean, the last day of picks wasn't perfect. It was pretty good, but the best part by far were the three stayaways. I got you to stay away from two loss Boston. I got you to stay off New Jersey with the picks. I got you to stay off the Rangers at Anaheim with Halak and the Blues who we're gonna be looking at again. We told you that might be bad. You know, you get you had Buffalo coming home after all those goals, and they gave them a nice beating, and now Buffalo's gonna go down to Tampa, and I believe they're gonna lose again. Give me the Tampa Bay Lightning to take out the Blues at home after a pretty big loss to the Boston Bruins, but they've been sitting at home for a while. I like what, they, that's an older team that needs rest. I like when the Lightning have rest and they've been in Tampa that whole time. They haven't been traveling like a lot of other teams. So I like Tampa in that particular game. They give me the under, uh, I hope this doesn't backfire, in the Philadelphia-Pittsburgh game. It's usually a rivalry game. It's physical play. And I'm thinking because it's in Philly, if it was in Pittsburgh, I really wouldn't have the confidence I always feel like you're maybe more likely to get a better defensive performance from the Flyers at home. You never really know, but after looking at Pittsburgh last game, they got into a 2-1 overtime game. I don't know, lack of scoring in that one. I'm hoping it kind of trickles to the next one. The Flyers, they were 2-1 in the third, ended up going 2-2 overtime, and then it was a 3-2 loss. This one might end up being low scoring. Rivalry game. Hard hitting, hopefully tighter checking. I'm going to take the under on that one. That's what I got for you. Good luck to all you guys. Better luck to me. Thank you guys for coming back. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. You find me on social media. I'm usually pretty decent at answering you guys if you have any questions, unless I'm busy or I don't feel like it, or who knows, maybe my ex is going to respond to that Thanksgiving text. Didn't mean to rhyme like that, but I'll see you tomorrow or on Monday or on Saturday for the NFL bets. Take it easy.